Sasalito, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. What do you think about the possibility that there have been crash recoveries of vehicles not made by humans? Uh, very much a possibility, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I, I th like one thing that will settle the debate on UFOs, aliens, and all this jazz if we had transparency in our governments, right? If we knew what tech they have, right? Because we know they're generations ahead of what they make available to the consumer, right? But how many generations are they ahead, right? Some people will say they're at least five generations ahead, at least, right? Some people say 10. Some people say centuries of tech, right? So if we could find out what tech we have available right now, then we could make a better uh, sort of decision on what uh, some of these vehicles are, right? And here's the kicker. Like, if you look at human history, so-called human history, whatever they're telling us now, right? You know, biblical Jesus Christ 2,000 years, <laughs> right? Then electricity, you know, in late 1800s, right? With Tesla and the New York Fair and stuff like this, right? 1896, 94, something like this. First place that was lit up with electricity, right? Consider that. And in 100 years, 130 years, right? We've gone from, oh, the first place in the world that was lit up with electricity was the New York Fair in 1980, whatever, 1900s, right? In 130 years, we're at a, we're at a moment right now where we're live streaming across the globe. Uh, we got sending people, if you believe in space and such things, right? <laughs> Some people don't. <laughs> people into space. We've we've got we've got torch lighters like this. Like in 130 years. So some people say one of the one of the not proofs, one of the arguments they use to say that for sure we've been visited by space aliens or aliens or civilizations from other planets and other solar systems and stuff like this is because of the technological gains we have gained in the last hundred years, right? How could we go from just simple electricity in one part of the world to this in 130 years right some people say the reason we were able to do that is because aliens have made a deal with humans and certain governments and they're introducing all this tech and all this jazz where we were able to reverse engineering some stuff so it's hard to say all we know is a catalyst was introduced uh in the last century where that catalyst came from we don't know um, who has who has control of it we do know uh, governments have control of it and they're not sharing right I mean, consider this if since this tech is available and we know there are multiple generations ahead of us why are they pushing some of the most low IQ things on society such as killing sheep killing cows destroying farms eating bugs right if they have all this fucking tech and we know they do why is there their solution to some of society's problems to eat bugs because that sure as hell ain't it right it is what it is